It's wonderful to be able to uh, share with children our experiences and our journey and also to bless them in the house of the Lord. And once again, we have uh, a child to be blessed, O'Shea. He has not brought himself. Um, his mom, Melissa, and her family, uh, friends are here, and we want to invite them up at this time as we have this special uh, blessing and dedication. As they come, we want to remind each one of us that we offer the blessing of babies here at Lauder Hill, and so please see our clerks who will make available to you. Also in our bulletin, there is a code that you can scan that will give you the, the form, the online form to fill in, and so please do that. So we see on the screen there, O'Shea, uh, Jeremy Owen Whitley, uh, born on, uh, sorry, Whiteley, Whiteley. The English is wit, right? Thank you, thank you. I knew there was a reason. I knew there was a reason. Okay, born uh, June uh, 19th, 2018. Eight pounds, ten. That's a good weight. It's a good weight. That's a... And born at Mount Sinai Medical Center. All right, so that's good. When you're born at Mount Sinai, then that's a good place. Good place to be born. Should have really called him Moses, but that's all right. That's all right. And so, Melissa, um, you're here um, to express your commitment uh, to God uh, in the guiding of your son. Christian dedication is the opportunity where parents ask for divine help uh, recognizing that your son is God's child and so rightly you have brought him into the house of the Lord to be blessed it's an opportunity for you to give thanks as every child that is born into this world is a miracle all right they they may it, it's a miracle to pay for them too but when they're born they're they're also a miracle, and so we, we want to thank God. We want to thank God for the gift of him to you. Also, it's an expression of your need for divine help and for the support of the community, the village that it takes to raise a child. And so uh, your presence here today is an expression of that desire. You know, we are familiar with uh, many texts and passages of scripture, namely Proverbs 22 and verse 6, in which the wise man Solomon admonishes us to train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart. And one of the key ways in which we train our children is by putting them in the atmosphere where the word of God can be heard. It can be heard first by and seen with the example of your life, it can be heard and seen by the influences that you allow uh, your children to be surrounded with. And also it can be heard in the house of the Lord and amongst uh, spiritual people who are able to, to guide and give influence. The Apostle Paul, writing to Timothy, uh, says, From a child you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. There are many things that we and many things that you will desire for your son. But the most important thing, the greatest responsibility that we have as parents is to prepare our children for the kingdom of God. To live kingdom lives here on earth so that they will see the Lord when he comes in his kingdom. Their education, their success, their future development, all of those things are fine and wonderful and are expected. But the primary responsibility is that you prepare your son to meet Jesus. And the best way that you can do that is to have Jesus living inside of you. And so as we call the elders at this time just to surround you and uh, give encouragement, we thank 
for, thank God for the presence of uh, spiritual guardians who are here to help to support. And we just want to pray for you uh, at this time and also to uh, bless your son, O'Shea. All right. stand at this time. Father, we thank you for the gift of life that is expressed in the bundle of joy that I hold in my hands. Osei, Jeremiah Owen, we thank you, Lord, for the life that courses through his body, as small as he is. We thank you that he came into this world as a healthy child on June 18th of this year. We thank you, Lord, that the vitality and the energy and the movement and all of his faculties express, Lord, the, the power of life that comes from you. And so, Lord, we celebrate and we just want to magnify you, Lord, for once again this beautiful gift you have given. And we want to lift up, Lord, and give you thanks for Melissa and Owen. We want to thank you, Lord, for the gift that you have given to them. And we ask now, Lord Jesus, that you would, through the presence and power of your Holy Spirit, surround Melissa, give her the wisdom and strength that she needs to guide her son under your Holy Spirit and influence, that he will live a kingdom life, that he will be exposed to the scriptures that will make him wise unto salvation, that he will be surrounded by positive influences that will enable him to model his life as the very best of this world and characters and individuals and we also ask heavenly father that as friends and family support melissa we ask that you would just continue to guide and direct every aspect and area of her life we thank you for the assembled church family and the community of faith and we pray that as we live by example and support that melissa will know that there is a village that is available to help her raise her son and so we thank you, Lord, for his life today. And we pray that you would bless, strengthen, and guide, be the angel that surrounds him at every opportunity, in every place, and every circumstance. We thank you that you're a God who never sleeps or slumbers. And as he grows, Lord, may he grow to choose you who to know is life eternal. And we thank you for all of this. In Jesus' name, amen. of the Lord of Hill Seventh-day Adventist Church. We want to welcome Oshain as an official member of the Beginner's Sabbath School class. It begins at 9.15 each Sabbath morning right here at Lauder Hill. And we're looking forward to have him with us. At this time, the children's apartment will present Oshain with a gift to help him be a good student. Sister Melissa, as church family, we believe that the word of the Lord is a lamp onto our feet and a light onto our path. And so on behalf of our Sabbath School Department, we'd like to present O'Shea with his New Beginner's Bible on one condition, that you read it to him every day. Amen. And we welcome her too to Sabbath School. So another child crying, just bring them up here. I, I can, I'll take care of them.